fourth year, is it? Uh, fourth, fourth school year, but uh, I'll be a redshirt junior. Redshirt junior. Yes, you've been practicing for four years. Oh yes, I've been practicing for four years. <laughs> <laughs> are you um, are you surprised that you stuck it out this long, or you knew you were going to stick it out this long all the whole time? Uh, ori originally, when I when I committed here, I committed to the school I'm here at right now. So. Me, me sticking it out or, or leaving everything, that never had crossed my mind because I committed to LSU itself as a school and as a program. So I love it here. You know what I'm saying? School, going to school here, playing football here. The coaches have been great. Even the coaches in the past have been great for me. Uh, and I just feel like this is a great program for me to be at. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think I even heard that you referred to yourself when you came here kind of as a project, that you had a lot of work to go before you oh. were ready to go. Well, yeah, I feel like I feel like in as as a player that wants to be better and wants to be the best he can be, I feel like everybody should think of themselves as that as far as taking as much coaching as possible and trying to be at least the best player I can be. Not really the next guy or a competition, but focusing on what I can do great and what I need to work on. I feel like that's as far as a project, that's what I feel like I am. Do you truly feel like you're in the hunt to start here? Oh yeah, I mean yeah, that, that, I mean that, I, I feel like that's safe to say for me to be in a hunt. Yeah, but uh, I feel like I'm in a hunt just as much as the next guy or the guy I'm competing with, as far as Mal and Well. Um, like I said, we're all competing really hard, um, trying to be the best we can be for this offense and the best we can be for ourselves. So we help each other out every day, every chance we can get. And the meeting room, we're going after it. I don't feel we're going after it. So I feel like I have a pretty good chance, just as much as everybody else does. It seems like when we do these interviews in the past, we've heard players say. You know, Justin is playing really well. Watch out for Justin. <laughs> even, I think even Brendan Harris, when he left, he said, Justin, watch out for Justin. I mean, uh, is it just a matter of proving that you can do it? Uh, I guess you could say that, yeah. Getting I mean, shot. yeah, as much as getting a shot. I feel like I've always been giving a shot. It's just a fact of, like you said, being patient and uh, waiting my turn. So last year, Danny Danny did a great job. I took notes behind Danny, took notes behind Brandon, the guys in the previous in the past. And like I said, I've, I've been giving my shot as much as just staying patient and just being true to the process is. What's the biggest advantage of just kind of waiting for this process and kind of having those years to kind of build up this opportunity? You know, you've been through several seasons. You've had the chance to watch plenty of film over the past couple of years. Oh, it's a lot of film watching when you're just sitting back relaxing. But uh, it, it, it's, it's been a great time um, watching what, what guys do that can they can correct on, what I feel like I can correct on, what I feel like I could do well. Watch, just watching, like I said, Danny, Brandon, the guys in the past, even Miles in this past season. Just seeing what they've done, watching, I feel like it'll, the game will go a lot slow for me when that time does come because I've watched so much film or I've, I've just been in the film so much. I've learned a lot from Danny as far as how to prepare, pretty much prepare for a game or prepare for an opponent. Watch what teams do technique-wise and watch what they like and whatnot. So just taking in what a lot of the older guys have for me, but now I'm the older guy. so. It's pretty much uh, it's, it's, it's time for me to get ready to go. Last year you had one snap. Uh, man, what did you take out of that? Were you more hungry? Or just what, what was that short experience like? Uh, I mean, it, 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 that was a situational time. So, you know, I mean, it, that could have went from one snap to six snaps just to say, you know, so Coach O did a great job with scheming what he did. It just didn't work out how we probably thought it would. Auburn had a great job just to, on that play because uh, – or it was like a loss on one or something like that. But yeah, off, off our scheme to right. But you know, last year, it, it was a lot of scheme stuff. Coach Cannon did a great job with scheming me and getting me in certain situations. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like I said, I'm, I've am i I've followed the process for as long as I've been playing football, and it's worked out pretty well for me in the past. So why change now? What, what do you feel like you do well that, that would help complement this offense? Hmm. I would say my leadership. Yeah, my, my, my leadership as far as me knowing – not even, not even as far as the the quarterback with the ball itself. It's more so as just helping people like Tay Poole, you know, high school guy. I graduated high school early, so I know where his mind is as far as being 17 or 18 years old in college, and uh, just just helping him slow the game down for him. You know, when he's next to me, he's wide eyed and everything's going fast. So I, I try to help him out by slowing down. He's been doing a great job, but just as far as just as far as calming the offense down because I've seen it all before. I would like to say and try and just be as big as leader I can for this offense and just keeping everybody positive for the most part. How, how comfortable do you feel with these, these RPOs and being able to kind of use your speed and, and wheels to your advantage? No, I'm back at home. I mean, it's Texas football for me. You know, I, I, I had a great job in high school. It, it was fun. Uh, it was a lot of exciting plays. We're going to set ourselves up for a lot of big plays in this offense. Got a lot of great players that are going to help me out. Just let me relax and just get them the ball. And uh, I just let the playmakers do what they do.
How different do you feel different as a resident of Canada like this year? Uh, I mean, different as far as what Coach Canada, he, what he schemed, it was successful. Coach Ingemar is going to scheme it pretty well offense too. So I feel like the difference will just literally be the offense and the minds behind it. But the results will be the same, six points. So we'll be all right. Because you've seen a lot of the offenses over the years. Is this a, <laughs> a much different offense than what maybe people are used to seeing? Uh, every you know every, every year in the past it, it's been a, it's been a different offense. So this year, I would say I would say you're looking out for a great offense. We're gonna have a great offense. It's gonna be efficient. We have great players on our team. A lot of young guys on our offense that are willing to make plays. They're hungry. I would say this year. Uh, every like I said, every year is a fresh start for us. Every year, it's gonna be a new offense as far as a new year. You know, uh, we gotta be better. A new year means new offense, new new players. So we had guys leave like DJ Chark last year. Somebody's gonna step in and fill that role for him, Russell Gage. So we have to find people that, that, that are going to make plays, and we have a lot of those guys. I can't um, imagine you've emulated a lot of opposing quarterbacks in the last three, four years, you know, like at practice and everything, doing a lot of scout squad stuff. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 a, scout, I'm a scout team superstar. Uh, <laughs> me, and, me, and, me and Jonathan had a lot of fun last year doing a scout team, and uh, we just made the best out of it. But, you know, playing, playing, playing under a lot of those offenses, it was just fun. And a lot of those offenses – kind of mirror what offense we're running now, and I felt great having it last year, and now this is our offense, and I feel great doing it this year. Because Danny Elton and DJ Chalk, they were, like you said, scout squad superstars. Scout right? squad superstars, look at that now. You know, I, I, I look up to them a lot because, like I said, they're, they're a trust the process kind of guy, and I feel like it's been times in the past where, yeah, you could say, oh, man, I can, but, you know, watching Danny and his smile every day in the room with him, and he has no worries, it, it, you know, it helps me out. It makes me more comfortable. That's why I said I hang around those guys a lot more. They've been successful on and off the field, and they're going to continue to be successful on and off the field. And uh, I just I just appreciate the people that have been around me in my past. Who's your favorite quarterback? Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I would have to say favorite quarterback. Uh, Lamar was pretty fun. He threw the ball a good bit. More, more than what people would think. Uh, I, I was throwing the ball a lot. But I would say uh, Syracuse. Syracuse. When, when I was running Syracuse offense, I probably threw at least 60 balls in practice. And there, I had a blast doing it. Uh, probably threw seven to eight balls of practice, 35 deep balls of practice. I mean, Coach O just kept telling me, just keep swinging it. That's what me and Jonathan kept doing. And I just looked for jo wherever Jonathan was at. Me and Jonathan had a little connection. And we just made the best out of it. We were at practice the other day, and we felt like looking at the wide receivers, they looked like NFL-type bodies out there. What's, what, what's the case? How, how do you maximize that talent and get them on the field and, and all those different kinds of things? Yeah, like, like, like I said, they're, they're all hungry. Uh, you, got, you, you can go from D. Anderson to Racy to Stephon to Drake, and we have Justin Jefferson. He's, he's coming in, in this year, and he's going to be a great guy for us. But – it's literally a group of receivers that want to win and want to be great. I mean, it's not a guy on that, on that, in that receiver room that I couldn't just throw the ball up to and they could make a play for me or try to butt off to make a play for me. So I feel like as, as a quarterback, I feel very comfortable with those guys out on the field. Like I said, it's just my job to get them the ball and they'll just do the rest for me. I feel like the coaching staff is starting to feel pretty comfortable with uh, trusting you guys with the four or five wide sets maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's always, it's always been good with us. It's just the fact that, like I said, scheming defenses. If defenses can't respond to a four wide or I formation, however it is, like I said, we have great coaches, and they're going to scheme. They're going to scheme defense they're going against, and they're going to put us in the best situation to make plays. And uh, those guys are great upstairs. They're up there all day. I can probably go up there at 6 in the morning. I'll catch them all up there in the meeting room or 7 o'clock at night, and they're still going to be there. And they're just like, just, they'll probably eat their food up there, have their kids up there. I mean, they're in there all day. So. I mean, they, they feel comfortable with us, and they expect the same out of us as players to put forth that same effort and really make an effort to, to make this offense as great as it can be.